This is Mark. He'll tell you just some good stories, and if you don't know one, he'll make something. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. And there's some more yet, Mark. Very good. So don't, don't start it till. Looking for maximum humiliation when it doesn't go. <laughs> <laughs> So before we start, we're going to start out on compressed air. We've got to get the piston in the right place so that when we emit the compressed air, it will, it will go. Well, it might go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a gas engine out of the college. Uh, originally, it ran on town gas. Uh, these days, we're running on LPG. So we've got great big LPG tanks out the front. Um, can you imagine that the piston in, in there is a big lump of cast iron the size of a dustbin? Uh, and when you let valve opens and the piston goes down, it takes a blooming great gulp of gas. Not just gas, obviously, a mixture of gas and air. Uh, and when they were running in factories, and that was a problem, because every time it took a gulp, then the lights dimmed. So to try and stop that happening, then they put this thing on, which is called a gas bag or an accumulator. So behind here, there's a big rubbish sheet. And when we let the gas in, probably hear a hiss, then the bag inflates, and that means that we've got some uh, we've got some gas ready to go. It's not carburetor; it's just a uh, just a very simple gas cock, so it emits a certain amount of gas in, mixes with the air, and uh, if you're lucky, it'll fire. Uh, compressed air to start is on there, and there we've got just a bit over 150, which should be maybe. So we turn the air off. Uh, that's right, we've got that, that one in, so we've got decompression on, and if you try and uh, blow it on full compression, it won't, it won't keep going. So we start it on half compression. Oh yeah, that's got the close. Those are big loud noise. Uh, oh, I've got to do that, but never mind. So, I think we're there. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Quite a lot of the engines you'll see, you can see the others started, are a bit more refined than this. And they have a special can that will admit the air at just the right moment. Because if you imagine if you admit compressed air and just leave it on, the piston will go <coughs> down to the bottom of the bore and then it will just sort of stay there. So instead of that, you've got to admit compressed air, blow the piston down the bore, and then turn it off quick so it can come back and start its oscillation. On, on this one, which is the sort of comedy engine, the man has got to be the valve. Right, here we go. Running, they just run down the street. They're just running down the street. They're just mostly in the street. 
So it's probably that it's designed to be, but if we put a load on it, so if, if there was a, if there was a big belt on it, probably a connector or a belt wheel on the end of the crank, going on to some pump or generator or something like that, then it would probably have to fire every time it could fire every four to seven four plugs in order to keep itself going. And then we spend a lot more time because we do it work. At the moment, the only work we're doing is only coming to the in the engine and warming up the engine jacket. Thank you. 